Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back. Let's get another reaction for you guys. Today, guys, I'm checking out Star Wars, the rewrite of Skywalker animatic created by Nathan Rojas. Now, Nathan reached out to me a little while ago, probably like February, March, somewhere around there, I think, and he asked me to do some voices for this animatic because after The Rise of Skywalker came out last year, he rewrote the ending of The Rise of Skywalker. He put it out on Twitter. It blew up. A lot of attention. A lot of people were responding to it. And he decided to do a basically a retelling of that same uh, rewrite that he did for the ending of the film and actually get voices. And so he incorporated some of his, some drawings into the mix. Apparently he's narrating it. He told me that this list last night on a live stream we did together with, alongside with Brit Smash. And uh, some voices from uh, reactors are in this as well, including with Sylph. So I'm excited to, uh, to to actually hear it with voices and being narrated and drawings that he's done. I'm excited to check it out because, like, reading his rewrite, I really enjoyed his alternate take of the ending of The Rise of Skywalker, what he personally would have done. So I'm curious to see it now in the animatic form from him on his channel. So without further ado, guys, let's get into now. Star Wars, the rewrite of Skywalker. Let's get into it and see... What it's all about. In a galaxy far, far away. The smoke clears the chamber over our fallen heroes. Out of the mist walks the vile Sith Lord, power and appearance restored. Look what you have made. His Ooh. followers rise from their seats. He's using the audio from the movie. The words of the Sith, praise to the one true Emperor. Palpatine basks in the cheers of his rebirth, but only for a moment. Mm. Breathing heavy. Ben Solo gives all of what little strength remains, struggling to his feet. Palpatine, taking notice, suspends young Solo midair. Frustrated by the defiance of his bloodline, he will take no more. As once I fell, so falls the last Skywalker. One final pushback, Ben is sent through the chamber, struggling defensively, knocked into the cliffside. He is lost in the shroud of lightning and mist. Mm. fear the feeble attack. My faithful. This was it. Nearly a century in the making. Palpatine has harnessed such immense strength, he knew there was no stopping him now. Nothing will stop the return of the Sith! He raised his hands <laughs> to the sky where the final stand of the galaxy raged on. Silence. Control. Power. A blast so huge and blinding erupted the ears of all that heard it. A storm cast across the night sky, stunning any that was a crazy scene. cruisers and light fighters. The ships in the air began to sink through the atmosphere. With a cackle so sinister, so full of pure joy, Palpatine continued to unleash his power on the galaxy as he had always done. Barely clinging to life, Rey turned onto her back, seeing the hell the Emperor is releasing upon the fleets. Tears fall from her stunned gaze. All hope was lost. The war is lost. Just then, a moment of clarity. Past the destruction, past the screams, beyond the electric storm, a strong presence calls out. Be with me. A scarred hand reaches over the ledge. Be with me. Pulling himself up with every fiber of his being. Be with me. Ben Solo breathes heavy, collapsed to the ground, gazing upon the storm, but is called past it. A moment of clarity in the stars. Relief. Peace. Mm. These are your final steps. Rise and take them. Ray. Ben. Ben. Ray. Me. Back in the balance of sight. Side by side, Ray and Ben remain tuned to the voices of the Jedi. Nice. They regain their breath, shifting in their place. Collectively, their hands hit the ground. A surge of inspiration pouring in, using what strength they have left to get to their knees. The heart of a Jedi lies in their strength. To their feet, to get that line. They stumble, hands still holding the tribe. A calming presence passes over them. Through all the Jedi's chants, the voices they know best. Ray, the Force will be with you. Always. Pushing oh, off I the ground, that. their lightsabers stumble across the ground, into the air, taking their place in the firm grip of their masters. 
Yeah. Bray and Epic. Ben stand blinks to their sides, looking to one another. The time is upon them to stand together. With a mutual nod, they turn their attention to the Sith Lord. Blades up. Ready. Up. Palpatine releases his flow of energy to the fleet, taking notice of the two Jedi. Angered, he stands from his throne. Let your death be the final word in the story of rebellion. He raises his hands, I don't unleashing lie. the fury of all his hatred. On the defense, Ray and Ben block an attack from each hand. Struggling in place as Palpatine moves closer from the throne. The blast intensifies as Ray and Ben step a little closer together. You are no match for the power. That's a cool shot. The power surge is stronger. The blast is almost too much. Almost. I am all the Now move together, shoulder to shoulder. Ray and Ben know in this moment, they are strongest together. Hmm. And we. Firm grasp on the defense. Ben sees his window. Are all the Jedi. Maintaining the focus of lightning, Ben swings his saber, locking his blade with rays, not as enemies, as allies. The power in nice. their stance unsettles Palpatine. Ray and Ben begin to march closer, feeling the presence of all the Jedi before them. They begin to see the fear in Palpatine's eyes. Palpatine sees the vague image of his former rivals becoming more solid. All the ones he had a hand in killing in some form nice. or another stood against him once more, glaring wow. into his very soul. They all know, the Jedi and Palpatine alike, that this is truly his end. Ray and Ben redirect the lightning into Palpatine himself. In the time Master Windu once did the same, Palpatine took all he could. But now, even regaining much of his strength from the young Jedi that stand before him, his own might was too much for him to bear. Mm. Emphasizing their blockade further, Palpatine begins to wither, his skin flying away as the shell it was. What stood all these years was the husk of a man that once was human. Damn. But now, a vile being so corrupted by hatred and greed for over a century, all that remained within was purely rotten and unnatural. They pushed back one final time, generating a surge so powerful, Palpatine let out his final scream before erupting into a blast so mighty, it disintegrated the Sith throne and surrounding statues, crumbling them to crush all his followers that surrounded. In the distance, the final Order's lead destroyer fell, the enemy was trapped, and Ooh. the war was won. The smoke cleared the chamber. Ray and Ben looked at all the destruction, exhausted and faint. They dropped their sabers and simultaneously fell to the ground, barely clinging to life. They both anticipated this to be the end. Mm. Ben looked to his right. A scavenger, heart full of love and kindness. Everything he wishes to be. Mm. Ray looked to her left. A man broken, abandoned, abused, full of regret and hatred for only himself. The two sat up across from one another. Ben took Ray's hand into his, closing his eyes to transfer the life he had left to her. Ray grabbed his other hand and pulled it away. They sat there hands together. Ben could see in Ray's eyes the forgiveness he always needed. Ray saw that forgiveness in Ben's eyes for himself and smiled. A tear fell from his eye, finally at peace with someone in the galaxy he cared for. Their mm. bond was stronger than anything in the galaxy, within the Force and outside it. Their eyes still locked. Ray thought back to the hut on Octo, where they confided in each other. Even when Ben didn't know the full truth, no matter where his allegiance lied, he was there for Ray. She was empty and alone, or so she thought. Ben reassured her then, just as he did for her now. He always wanted her to have a life of purpose and peace. Ben thought back to the elevator on Snoke's ship. A lot Ray of flashbacks. openly came for him. She always saw the light within. She saved him then against the guards, but it's now, in this moment, for the first time, he feels safe. He doesn't forgive himself for betraying her then, but Ooh. he hopes to never hurt her again from now on. Ben. This was the moment they saw all that time ago. In their journey, the Force brought them together, but it was their trust, their love for each other, that would keep them together. All they've done, all this time, their journey across the stars had led them to this embrace. Kissy time! A kiss. One with so much Holds passion, forever. full of relief and peace. Kidding. Ray smiled, <laughs> happy but unsure of Ben's state. Ben smiled for the first time in years. After so long, he was finally, truly happy. Time would progress. Ray returned to the fleet, embracing Finn, Poe, and Rose. She would continue oh, the final okay. roundups of the war and continue along her Jedi path. Ben remained in hiding. After all that went on in the galaxy... 
he no longer had the luxury of knowing many people, but he was used to that. As it stood, he only ever needed one person from now on. Lando was set to retire from the life of smuggling in the war. He knew just where to go to live out the rest of his days. Ray, can I see you a moment? Ray finished Anthony! packing his belongings and approached Lando. Anthony! Look, my time here is long over with. My flying days are certainly over now. Anthony. You know, I've been planning to take off to- I knew today would be the day. You did? <laughs> Oh, of course he did. Anyway, I'm heading out with Chewie and he tends to do better in the co-pilot position. Uh, don't tell him I said that. Would you mind accompanying us? I'd like to know the Falcon is. Anthony can do a good Lando. It does. I can definitely hear some Lando. Absolutely. Ray, Lando, Chewbacca, and BB-8 embarked on their trip. Once they arrived, Ray directed them a certain way. Hey, Chewbacca! as to how this would go, and Lando was confused as to her plan. They all exited the Falcon and made their way a few yards ahead. A small hut resided within the blue forest. Chewie, stay calm, okay? Please. <laughs> Ray approached the hut and pulled back the curtain. Out stepped Ben, who was apprehensive of this entire reunion. Lando saw Ben and gave him a stern glare before approaching him. So, you still got that blaster I gave you? Uncle Lando, I... Come on, enough of that. Enough of that. You know... To all the time, no matter how much Leia said she knew, she never gave up on you. Ben gave a look of remorse. Yeah, there's all lines. And I know how proud a lot of lines. See you now. Chewbacca approached Ben. Ben was honestly frightened, knowing His how face. emotional Chewbacca would oh, be. <laughs> the Wookiee grabbed Ben in a huge hug and let out a soft growl of forgiveness. Lando waved from the ground as the Falcon took off. Ben hadn't been on the Falcon for ages. He was overcome with memories of his family both before Aww. his time and during. Ray and Ben approached the cockpit where Chewbacca was. He let out a growl to Ray that made her smile. Ray turned the chair next to Chewbacca and offered it to Ben. He was taken aback for a moment, but didn't hesitate. Let's see how well she's held up. The ship jumped to light speed and was lost to the starfield. A blue sky, clouds, just before sunrise. The Falcon's engines roared over the sand crawler. Ray and Ben walked down the ramp and looked on in the distance. They began walking as BB-8 watched on. The Lars homestead. Mm. What once housed their late Jedi Master was now engulfed from years of sandstorms. In her scavenger nature, Ray took an old piece of metal and slid down the slope of sand. Ben watched on amused. Ray saw into where Luke used to sleep, almost seeing the young Jedi clear as day. Ray found an old cloth and brought it back up to Ben. On the open cloth, Ray rested her master Leia's lightsaber. Next to it, Ben rested the legacy lightsaber once belonging to Luke and Anakin Skywalker. Mm. Ray folded the cloth and tied the sabers. Together, Ray and Ben closed their eyes and pushed the weapons deep within the sand where their family's journey began so long ago. Ray lifted her staff and held the other end to Ben. He took hold and turned, disconnecting the staff in two. Mm. They raised their hilts and turned their switches, igniting the blades. Ben, standing with his blue blade, like his mother and grandfather before him. Ray, standing with her yellow blade, pure of light always in the darkest of times. Their attention is taken by the horizon. In the desert haze, a faint blue figure stands. No, two figures. Luke Skywalker and Leia Organa Skywalker. I like the drawings The two cool. force beings smile on at their pupils, knowing they will pass on the teachings of peace and prosperity to the galaxy. With a smile on their faces, BB-8 rolls up behind them, projecting the plans to construct a new school, learning from mm. their mistakes and flaws. Yeah, path. I remember that. Okay. It was finally time for the Jedi to end. I think it was in the original. Yeah. The era I'm pretty sure it just, just on the, true the script and the uh, animatic. All who exactly. trained at the academy would follow the teachings of Ben and Rey Solo, becoming not a Jedi, but a Skywalker. But that's it. Good. Good job, man. We got a little some credits. I really liked it. The drawings are great, man. Really liked them. Um, yeah, Brent is Ray. Yeah, I figured it was as clear as Nathan doing it. Anthony did good. Anthony did good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Be right. Okay, so I have to like that final. Let's 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 pause in that final shot. It's a very good drawing, and it's the damn and it's the damn thumbnail. It's a really good drawing. 
I like how he changed it because there was a lot of people, of course, that were upset that Ben died at the end of uh, Rise of Skywalker, and it didn't really make a lot of sense. Not really. But there was a lot of people that were writing their own ideas of how they would have ended the Rise of Skywalker, and I've read a couple other people's things and what they would like to do. Some of them just wrote out just ideas of what they want. They would like different. Um, a lot of them kept Ben alive, but it was just like... There wasn't a lot of detail that I was seeing in some of these other people's rewrites and stuff about how come it makes more sense and how it really overall flows. And a lot of them just made it to where Ben is just alive and everything else is still the same. But with this, there's some changes here. There's some minor things that are changing here. Like all the ghosts, all the ghosts, all of the force ghosts behind them, when they're, when they're locked together with their two sabers against Palpatine, and the fact that Lando went with Rey and Chewbacca to go find Ben uh, in some tent or whatever. And I think Anthony did a good job as Lando. but um, And how her staff gets broken in two. And on his end, his lightsaber is blue and, and basically just like his you know lineage. And then with Rey, it's still the yellow. And then this cool little sunset shot. Uh, but... It's pretty good. Like, because like, here's the thing, too. He didn't make it to where, because some of the rewrites I was reading where Ben was alive or whatever, like, that's the main point I'm going across, because the main difference here is that Ben is alive, the story changes. A lot of people are, like, making it to where Ray and Ben get married or some shit, or they have kids together. And this, it's like, they kissed, and there's a thing of them building a school together, but there's no mention of them, like, getting together and having kids. It's like, but possibly that would potentially happen, I guess. But, like, this, he's not explicitly saying boom boom but these this thing's happening this is happening this is happening because he's alive it's just like hey there's gonna be a new school and they work together to defeat palpatine all that instead of ray by herself so yeah and i think ben deserved to be redeemed more than than what happened i mean he, he redeemed himself essentially but not to the extent of what people were expecting and maybe that's the whole point we have expectations and they, and they don't they aren't met i don't know but anyways really enjoyed it man nathan you did a good job really enjoyed it Wish I had more lines. It's okay. But uh, I really enjoyed it, man. You did a good job here. I really I really liked seeing the story unfold and seeing how, with your words, you were ex you were really describing the scene, whether it's just a still image, but we're able to understand. And the audio cues they were using from the movie that made it tie in, like all the Palpatine lines, making it work there, and just in general having certain things there that make sense and why it needs to be there. Like, all the, all the, the lines of... From the Jedi talking to Ray and Ben, where you were using from the movie, but then using bits and pieces of audio from me, um, in incorporated into the mix. So that was really cool. And then of course, uh, Brianna as well, um, being Ahsoka. I didn't, know, I didn't know she was Ahsoka, but um, but using that, and then also using the movie lines as well to make it flow. So I really like that. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you guys have not seen this video before until my reaction, shame on you. You should have watched it before my reaction. The link to this video is at the top of the description. Click on it and support Nathan's animatic on his channel. That's what you should be doing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.